رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنمى Is there a special hour, day, week, or time during Ramadan when dua will get answered? First of all, Ramadan is a blessed month. And a lot of people say it's Ramadan Kareem. This is wrong. Kareem means generous. And Ramadan is not generous by itself. It doesn't give you things. Allah is Kareem. But the appropriate description would be Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan is blessed. So the word that a lot of us say whenever Ramadan is due and say, Oh, mashallah, Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan Kareem. This is wrong. We should say always Ramadan Mubarak. It's a blessed month. Now, the month is blessed, and whenever you make dua, Allah Azza wa Jal is more likely to answer it than any other time. But there is a specific hour every day that Allah Azza wa Jal answers your dua more likely than any other time. And this is as the Prophet said والسلام, when you break your fast. Whenever you break your fast, Allah Azza wa Jal answers your dua more likely than any other time of the day and night. But what is meant by when you break your fast? Some people think that after they eat, drink, feast, and then they make dua. And this is not true. The most authentic opinion is that the dua made just right before you eat your date. So like half a minute or one minute, the food is on the table, the dates, the qahwa, everything else. And you raise your hands and you say, Oh Allah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Allahumma salli wa sallam ala Muhammad. Oh Allah, do this, do that uh, uh, for me, forgive me, uh, uh, pay off my debts, uh, guide my children, uh, give me health. This dua is answered, is heard by Allah Azza wa Jal. And you're more like, most likely to be uh, given what you ask Allah Azza wa Jal. Why? Because I am hungry. I am thirsty. I am in submissiveness to Allah. I am humble. I'm expressing my poverty. This is the time most likely that Allah Azza wa Jal would answer your dua. And by the way, this is something extra as usual. It's on the house. When we raise our hands and self and heads from rukur, what do we say? We say, Sami Allahu liman hamida. Those who know Arabic, what is the meaning of Sami Allahu liman hamida? All Arabs would say it means Allah listens to those who praise Him. And this is not correct. Allah listens to everyone, even to the kafir. Nothing hides from Allah's all hearing and all seeing. Sami Allah liman hamidah means that Allah responds and answers to those who praise Him. So Sami here means to respond and answer. And why do I bring this up now? Because I've heard so many Muslims complain, Akhi, we do dua at the time of breaking our fast and Allah doesn't respond. Allah doesn't answer. No, you're wrong. Allah answers and Allah responds. But you have a problem. Your problem is that you do not understand and realize how Allah answers your dua. So what do you mean, Shaykh? The Prophet told us, alayhi salatu it is one of three. 
You say, oh Allah, grant me 100,000 dirham. And all of a sudden, mashallah, you have 100,000 dirham. Either through a business deal that was successful, either through inheritance, either through a gift. And if you find someone who would give me this, I'd be more than happy to accept. Number two, oh Allah, grant me 100,000 dirhams. It doesn't come. But, subhanallah, just an hour ago, I was driving and a child ran in front of my car and I barely missed him. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Now I said, these are my ABS brakes. Mm, these are my skills in driving. These, no, 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 no. If I were to kill that child, I would have paid blood money 100,000 plus two months in jail, plus, plus, plus. Though it's not my mistake. So Allah answered my dua by deflecting 100,000 that would have gone out of my pocket for this incident. Number three. Oh Allah, grant you 100,000. Allah doesn't give me it here. Allah does not deflect it as well. But on the day of judgment, when the scales are put, and I know so many sins I have, and then I see a lot of good deeds. I prayed only five times a day. I don't have extra night prayer, taraweeh, I don't have charity. What is this? Maybe it's a wrong account. I said, no, you used to make dua. One of your dua, grant me 100,000, and this is it. Allah give, has given it to you in good deeds. Seriously? Then I would be stupid not to make dua 24-7. The answer is yes, you would. Make dua. Trust Allah Azza wa Jal. Have confidence in Him and He will give it to you. The best time is when you make iftar, before you break your fast. So after I break my fast, what is the prescribed dhikr? The most authentic is to say, ذهب الظمع وَابْتَلَّتِ الْعُرُوقِ وَثَبَتَ الْأَجْرُ إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ This summarizes the dunya we live in. I've been hungry, starving, thirsty for 16 hours. It's hot out there. Now, the moment I put a piece of date in my mouth and drink a sip of water, the dua is, ذَهَبَ الظَّمَ The thirst has gone. Because I just drank water. My veins are nourished now with food and water. And the reward has been set and recorded with the grace of Allah. This is dunya. No matter how long you live, this is what happens. There is hardship. There are so many things that you want and desire. But you refrain because you fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Once you die and you see your spot in paradise, you will say, ذَهَبَ الظَّمَعُ وَابْتَلَّتِ الْعُرُوقِ وَثَبَتَ الْأَجْرُ Allah. What about the dua that a lot of people say, اللَّهُمَّ لَكَ سُمْتْ وَعَلَى نِعْمَتِكَ أَفْطَرْتْ And so many others dua, all the duas you know of are not authentic. They're weak. So the one I've stated to you is the best and it's the most authentic insha'Allah.